City. Now, in this city, we created everything from the buildings, uh, spaceship, uh, the pyramid. Everything was created from scratch, and we might take this um, and create this in a couple different sections, but we're going to start off by creating the actual buildings. Uh, so let's dive right in. Find a place to download an image of a building, and what you want to do is cut out just the front side of the building so you have a perfect square of just the building with the windows. Okay, so the first step you wanna do is go ahead and import your files. So import the picture of the uh, building. So click on uh, file import and import that file. The next thing we're gonna do is create a new composition. So we'll go to new composition. We'll name our composition. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty. We'll go ahead and put a duration of thirty seconds. Hit OK. Drag the picture of your building into your new comp. Right-click on your image. Click Pre-Compose. Name your comp. Leave all attributes, hit OK. Double click on your new comp. Now depending on your image, it could be small, it could be big, so what we wanna do is wanna click on composition, composition settings, and we can adjust our width here. I'll do a thousand. Now right click on your image, transform, Fit to comp. Now we could click out of this, go back to our city tutorial, right click on this and pre compose it again. Now let's click on this and make this a 3D layer and let's double click this pre comp. Let's make this a 3D layer and change our position to top view. Now let's duplicate this layer, control D, and we'll slide down our Z axis down to the bottom. We'll duplicate this again, select our rotation tool, and rotate the Y axis. Back to our pointer. We'll move the Z axis all the way to the side and raise it up. And we'll duplicate that. Move it to the other side. Now we'll take our top and bottom layer and adjust those to make a perfect square. Now if we switch to custom view, we should have a building that's almost ready to go. So now what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that these layers are connected correctly. So we'll select those and just push those in a little bit so they're connected. All right, guys, so if you guys like this so far, do me a favor, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. It really goes a long way in growing the channel. And if you want to see my future videos, I really appreciate it. Let's get to it. All right, so we have a structure of the building. All right, so now we want to add a roof to this image. 
So let's um, create a rooftop. So for this, I chose an image that has rooftop tiles. Um, so we'll go ahead and pre-compose this. Make this a 3D layer. Click on top view, select our rotation tool. rotate our x-axis all right so now if we go back to custom view you see we have that rooftop and it's all the way inside so what we need to do is raise it up to the top so select your z-axis and raise it up We will rotate our x-axis so that it's flush with the top. If we look, we have a rooftop. We just need to adjust this and make it so it's flush. Now that we have our rooftop, we want to make this look a little bit more realistic. So what we'll do is we'll double click on our rooftop image. Click on your effects, select tint, and drag it to your your rooftop. Then we'll search for curves and drag that to the image as well. Take our RBG and we'll lower the opacity on this or the color on this. Let's go to our blue layer and Increase that a little bit. Pull some of the reds down back to our RBG and just darken it up a little bit. So now if we go back to this, we have a little bit of a rooftop. Now we'll click on the double click on the side of the building. We'll do the same to this. Drag a tint and a curves effect. So if you can see now, we have some color effect to this building and it has a roof and we have this dark teal color. Now, we could go ahead and do some things to the roof to make it look a little bit more realistic. So if we go to our rooftop, duplicate the layer, go to new and shape layer. Let's draw a circle. We'll make the inside white and we can move it to the center. If we go to our effects, click on light, and we'll drop a CC lays, um, light rays onto the layer, and we'll take this little round circle, put it on the center of the circle we just drew, and if we play around with the radius intensity we could create uh, a little light effect so when we go back to our building you can see that there's a light in the center now if we go to our effects and we take the strobe light and drag that on there you'll notice that we'll have a little blinking effect to the actual light so if we go back to our building, when this plays, you'll notice that it starts to blink. Now we'll click back on our building sides. And what we want to do is duplicate this picture, select our top layer. And we want to create 
a mask around the dark area here so we can eliminate some of these windows because there's too much light. So we'll take that, we'll draw a mask, and we'll place it sporadically around this whole image. Duplicate this again. And we'll just keep duplicating a few times so we remove some of the windows. So if we go back to our comp, now we see that our building has a few, a few windows that are out. Okay, so now if we go back to our original comp, click on the restoration, that should help make it back 3D, and now we can move this around, and we have a little building. Let's go ahead and click on front view, and just slide this up a little. Click on our pan button and we'll drag the cursor here all the way down to the bottom so that we have control and we always have the building on the bottom. So when we start moving this around, we know that that's the bottom. Now we can scale this down a little. And if we go back to custom view, you start duplicating these buildings. So we'll hit on our building, we'll hit control D and we will slide this building over just a little bit. Okay, actually before we do this, let's go ahead and double click on our building tutorial on the side view here. We'll click on this comp and what we wanna do is we wanna make this a little bit longer so it's a taller building. So we'll select our four sides, hit duplicate and we'll drag them down to the bottom Now we'll take our selector tool and what we'll do is we'll drag this down so maybe about here so now we have a we should have a taller building so now if we raise this a little bit just like this now we want to create our scene so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and duplicate these buildings a little bit. And we will rearrange these. And we can adjust the size of these. We can make some of them smaller. Okay, so I'll continue to duplicate all of these and create a scene and then we'll get back to it. So now that we created this, uh, we duplicated a bunch of layers. So now we have this like kind of 3D effect of all the buildings. Um, and before we continue, we're going to go ahead and create a new camera. Select 24 millimeter and hit OK. So now we'll adjust our camera how we want it to look. So if we click back on active view, now we can create our movements. And we can animate this with our camera. Okay, so we pretty much created a little scene of this building. And if you wanna get really savvy and you could just add a background, make it look more realistic, but just to give you this tutorial on how to create the buildings, how to do that, once we created our scene, now we have our camera, we drop down into our uh, comp composition. We could go ahead and go right into the beginning, select our position and our point of interest. So we'll add some keyframes and we can move it up to about four 
seconds and we could adjust our city how we want so if we want like a little panning effect we can do that and this is how we animate it okay so you've got your little city now that you just all you have to do to finish this project is continue by duplicating the buildings once you duplicate the buildings now you could add a camera add your keyframes and animate the scene however you like anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed that um that's our first step and we'll probably have a second addition to this video uh we'll probably get down deep and maybe create the background and uh, create a couple different variations to it um, so make sure you subscribe to our channel if you want to see that second video uh, part and I'll see you guys in my next video in a world of real estate there was one man creating